What you need to do is you need to lay out the puzzle pieces and then the universe is there to put mm -hmm. it together for you. Being on the road can get like pretty lonely and like that's just like Harry Potter's like home for us. Cons is the oh. space is very small. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. And this is Harper. And this is Gertie, our van. This is our micro living space slash semi-functioning kitchenette. And what I mean by that is we do have a functioning sink here that is foot pedal, which is nice because you use less water. This is where we store our stove. It's not necessarily where we cook right now because obviously with the low ceiling, it's um, a little complicated. You know, we could cook in here. I think we're gonna downgrade a little to like a one burner and then maybe I'll consider that. But we do have a vent fan, so we totally can cook in here. Um, one really great thing about this space is that this table does come up. Extra storage, you know, a little pantry right here. Um, but this come up, it'll hook here, and then we can actually both be like eating here or working or what have you. And then I'll usually just sit on like, we have a little camp stool or our, our water jug works as a stool as well. Um, and then, you know, we have our cans over here, very small, <laughs> but it works for our needs. We have things that we've, as we've gone on, realize the stuff we need right here to like jump out the door, like binoculars and our GoPro and our speaker. For power, we have a Goal Zero 1500 um, connected to 175 watt panel, um, but we also have a briefcase 100 watt panel to set up to help charge faster when we're actually like stopped and stationary. And then we have our fridge right here. Um, we have the CFX, the Dometic CFX 45, which is really nice. It stores a ton of stuff. And then coming from cooler days, not having to fill ice is like the best thing ever. And then a really awesome feature of our van that I love is our ceiling, which it helps me connect with other Harry Potter fans. And I had a the third Harry Potter book and that one was literally falling apart. I mean, I've read it so many times, like sections were like separated from the binding. So we thought that would be a good way to, you know, give some love to that book. And just Harry Potter is something that's like so important to both of us. Um, we connected on it like right away and it's a really, it's our like happy space. So being on the road can get like pretty lonely and like that's just like Harry Potter's like home for us. I love it, it makes me really happy. I mean, this has been like years in the making and it's morphed. The plans have morphed as the world has progressively gotten more on fire. <laughs> For me, it's just like, I just wanted some, some space to kind of think about what I want and just explore being creative for the sake of being creative. We knew we were done with like the New York hustle. Um, so we wanted to see where else we could vibe with to like just start a new chapter of our lives. A reset. A reset, honestly. Yeah. And a as a tattoo artist, I really wanted to travel for work and that mm -hmm. was a very big thing for me for my future, work and travel. Mm -hmm. um, tattooing definitely gave me the option to do that. It gave me that opportunity. So that was one of the reasons and you know, good reset for you. So this is our bedroom. Um, right now we have it in a day bed version so that we can, you know, just lounge. This bed actually goes all the way out to here and turns into a full size bed, um, which is very important when you have two people and two dogs. It's very comfortable. We put a mattress topper on it, so we sleep really well. That was one of the things that was really important for us moving into the van. We were gonna be in a small space, so we needed to sleep well. On this side, we have our wardrobe. We've got my side and Sam's side and some camera gear under here. Uh, one of my favorite things on this side actually is our mirror that comes out. That's very useful. And then over on this side, um, we have our hats. I have a little weaving that I made just for the van and we have a little Polaroid that uh, one of our van friends took for us at our last event. And then we have our little library here, which also includes my art stuff. Uh, I've got paints, I've got paintbrushes, 
And then up here, we decided to put a little net to just kind of hold like our rain jackets and our towels, just so it's easy access. Um, and then under here, we have our shoes. So this is Sam's shoe space. And then this is my yeah. shoe space. And then you can actually see that we have a sticker collection that we started. We've been trying to get them in different national parks and any little towns and cities that we have been visiting. And it's just a nice little reminder of the places that we've been together and all the memories we've shared. Um, the curtains are a big part of our bedroom as well. My mom and my grandmother contributed in making the curtains. Um, they, I really wanted them to be part of it but there wasn't much they could do. So they made our curtains. My mom got my grandma to sew like crazy and together they made that, which has made the build even more special. Cons is the space is very small. <laughs> <laughs> two people, two dogs in this tiny space, it, it could be very difficult. Our struggles, it's like not so much with the lifestyle in general living on the road, it's more the trouble that comes with like such a small space with like our particular rig. But the pros I think really outweigh the cons. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, getting to travel is mm -hmm. really important. Meeting people, meeting awesome people like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like our amazing yeah, friends that we've met at amazing. events makes it so worth it. We've been missing our friends on the cons, so the yeah. pros is that we are gaining new friends, exactly. gaining, getting to be part of a community. Yeah, where no, the like-minded people has been so great, yeah. which I didn't even like think about that. Yeah. You know, like, that's just not something because it's not something that you can like get just by like reading on the internet or like the blogs. You don't like is a feeling. It's not you know you got to feel it. Being a really, really tiny space, we really wanted to make sure we had a nice little patio set up. So we have our love seat, which is really for this dog. Pretty <laughs> she, she loves this seat. It's usually like one of us is on the floor and one dog is on the couch. This awning here, um, we have like a shelter for it. It works really great. When we have it all set up, I love this space. I love to be out here as much as we can. This is where Christina is tattooing a lot of the time. Once we have like the awning and we have a shelter for it, like full walls, mosquito walls, mesh walls. Um, and this is some of her tattoo gear. And also up here, again, we have limited storage. So we have to put a lot of stuff up there. So we have a storage bin um, with a lot like our hiking packs and additional dog stuff. Um, we have a four person like inflatable boat, which is clutch. Welcome to the back of our van. So we've got this and we have our mosquito net, which is very important. And it's a pretty simple, we just throw this over. And then our first drawer whoa, is our camping drawer. Lights, water filters, everything. <laughs> and then over here, this is our camp kitchen. This whole thing comes out. And then voila, oh, we've got our camp kitchen. So we can put our camp stove on here. We can do pretty much anything on here. Um, we've got cast iron, pots, pans, seasonings, utensils propane. One of my favorite things is this little thing that we call the stargazer. And we can just kind of bring our space out here and put pillows on and then just kind of look up in the sky. And that was a nice little addition. It's also another table. So we can be like chopping vegetables and stuff like that and have the camp stove right here. So I had an amazing, beautiful, magical, aha moment. <laughs> the other day I was filmed, you know, uh, while tattooing Josiah. Josiah 
is the person who runs a few van events and he is a person that I reached out to and I was like, hey, you're doing a van event. I would love to be a tattoo artist there. Um, let me know if it's if you're interested. I think it could be really cool. And he said, hell yeah, let's do it. And fast forward, I've done two events for him already. And now after this last event, we're all here gathered at this beautiful spot on the Oregon coast, which is the first time that I've been here. And I got to tattoo Josiah in his van. And John Luke was filming me <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm here on the Oregon coast. I'm tattooing, I'm traveling for work, which is the biggest goal. Mm -hmm. And I made people happy with the permanent artwork. We mainly use my Instagram, Studio mm -hmm. Montez. Um, that is my tattoo Instagram. Uh, you can see some of my work on there. You can also find my work and my contact information on my website, which is www.studiomontez.com. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. the time to look at our van. Um, we really love our space and we mm -hmm. hope that you loved it too. And we hope to see you out there. Yeah. yeah.